Hi guys, Trinity here. So tonight's video, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side for you of the Everyday Witch and the newest Wizard's Tarot. I also wanted to show you this Phantom Quartz crystal. See the inclusions in there? Anywho, let's get to the video, guys. So, I thought it would be fun because when I was looking through the newest Wizard's Tarot, I thought it reminded me of the Witch's Tarot. And I thought it would be pretty cool to do a side-by-side. -side. So, let's do it. Let's do it. Some kind of distraction from all the stuff that's going on. So as you can see in both tarot decks, The Witch's Tarot by Deborah Blake and The New Wizard's Tarot, you can see we got female action going on here. In this one, it appears that she's leaping off of the cliff. Where in this one, she's just kind of hanging out on the edge. Almost looking <clears throat> as though she's calm and ready to slide down, right? We're going to get these out of the way. Sorry about that. Sorry if the camera's a little bouncy, guys. I'm trying to get the perfect setup. Our magician here, he's got all his stuff on the table. He's got his cup, his coin, his athame, his wand, all laid out on the table for him. You can see the power in both his hands. In the Wizard's Tarot, you see what looks like almost a younger person, a young man just coming into his talents, and he's actually got a force field around him where he's kind of like juggling his tools and showing them off. In the High Priestess, you see what looks like here an older seer with the black and the white candles and she has her crystal ball and her runes and her tarot cards and her black cat and over here we have our pillars instead our black and our white pillars although I don't see the B and the J on both pillars in either card this is a more modern looking High Priestess. Although I don't see I don't see the moon in either of these either, guys. Anyway, the Empress. She has her animals around her. She has her wand. She has her pregnant belly. Here she's indoors instead of outdoors. And she's kind of relaxing. Two very different Emperor cards. I thought it would be cool to have the Witch's Tarot and the Wizard's Tarot together. And if you do not own both decks, which most people have this one, if you do not, maybe it will entice you to get the other. I love this Hermit. I love the, both these decks, but I really love this one. Wheel of Fortune. Do 
different versions of justice. This one they chose not to depict the woman. Or anyone for that matter. More modern hanged man. Versus a boy witch. Very different takes on the death card, guys. This one kind of gives me the one door closes and another door opens kind of thing going on, kind of theme. And this one is more about embracing the inevitable. Two very different forms of temperance. But both depicting balance. I like her hat better. It's very horny looking. This devil has horns. Sorry guys. This devil has horns. This one does not. He comes in disguise as the nice guy. He doesn't disguise himself at all. Wow. I have to say... This tower and the witch's everyday witch looks more like it's smoldering out, where this one looks like it's just beginning to explode. Very, very different. Um, very different star cards here. But beautiful, just the same. This one we see a black panther who's actually a cat and the cat doesn't know what's inside him. Things aren't always as they seem under the light of the moon, right? Where here we have a giant crab. You can't really tell from here it looks like a spider, but when you look up close it looks like a scorpion or a crab. Big guy. And we got our dogs down the bottom. I love the Arabian Stallion in this sun card. This woman is just riding instead of the creepy baby. We have two different, very different versions. This one you could almost mistake for the Three of Cups if you didn't look closely at the card. This one there's no mistaking it's the sun because she's still riding a horse. Judgment cards. I like both of them, but I'd have to say I like more traditional um, cleansing, clearing, renewal, um, a new beginning. This doesn't speak that to me as much. The world. I kind of like this depiction of the world. It kind of encircles you like a ring. It lets you know that everything is connected. Everything is one. Gotta say, in the Wizard's Tarot, these aces are banging. I mean, you just can't beat them. They're pretty awesome. The graphics, graphics excuse me, on the Wizard's Tarot is much better. Um, the Everyday Witch is meant to be more on like a cartoony kind of theme, but they're both beautiful decks. I just like one more than the other. Very different two of wands. I mean, this one is closer to the original where he's kind of holding the world in his hand and he's beginning something. He's looking out to start something new where this guy is kind of falling asleep at his desk does not look like he's starting something new. He's just reading a book, right? <laughs> it's like, what? All right, the three of wands here. We have action. We have, she's got her friends helping her. You see she's whirling her magic here, right? In this three of wands from the Everyday Witch. In this three of wands, again, we see somebody sitting there and he's like turning on lights. It's like he's being a lazy person instead of a go-getter 
you know, like a Wands kind of family guy. He's like the lazy guy in the Wands family. So, we got our Four of Wands. Here we see celebration. Here, he's looking off into the mirror, dreaming about his, what he has coming to him, what he would like to have coming to him. That would be his celebration, gaining what he wants, what he favors. The Five of Wands here, you can clearly see there's a center witch, and she's trying to be at the top of her game. She's bubbling over the pot. She's winning. Here we see wizards all kind of competing, so I like this a lot. The Six of Wands, she's the center of attention. She's being showered with gifts or flowers. Here we're seeing a very similar scene, except this wizard is coming with a prize, with the head of an ogre. And he's presenting it, so you see why he's being cheered on. Where in this one, you don't see why she's really being cheered on. In the seven, we see defense, and they're both good. She's backing up, defending her and her cat. He's kind of going at the wands that are coming at him. This one we have wands just flying, just flying. This one we have wands kind of being swept away, like being pulled away, right? Here we can clearly see battle wounds. We can see she's been beat up and she's in her armor and she's trying to defend herself. She's been through a battle. You can see the steam coming off these wands. Here it's like this wizard... He's got all these people around him, and they're getting ready to battle him. But he doesn't look wounded yet. Very different in these decks. Now, I've seen someone else talk about this card in the Wizard's Tarot. So this would be your typical Ten of Wands. You would always see someone with a bunch of wands on their back or carrying them in their arms. They look like a bundle of sticks. It talks of... Carrying too much weight, obviously, what the picture shows. Or too many burdens at once. Taking too much on. Okay, this one is burden, but it's almost like he carries it more in his mind. You know, which isn't really what the wand speaks of. The wands is more about action. And to me here, this isn't saying a lot about action, but it is does have you know, an aspect to it of carrying burdens. So it could still apply. Then we have our Page of Wands, which is generally a message or the beginning of something new. Here he has fire on the tip of his wand, and he's really like, looks like he's ready to joust, where here he's just like, eh, do I want to take this path or that path? Let me take my time. He doesn't look like he's taking his time. Here we have the Knight of Wands, where he's racing. We have the, the, the Boy Witch here in the Everyday Witch Tarot. And in this one, we have a girl. And she's racing on that horse, boy. Then we got our Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Our King of Wands. Neither one really... This guy's showing the map of how he's been all over. This guy's just kind of chilling. I like this this uh, Ace of Pentacles a lot. These are very, very cool different renditions of the Twos of Pentacles. Even here, working together. Here, keeping your your money close to you, saving money, out in the cold, out in the cold, our six, although this six looks kind of provocative to me, it's supposed to be about give and take, 
you know, and this looks a little more provocative to me. Get our Queen of Pentacles. Is that a queen? No, nine. I'm sorry. Nine of Pentacles. I'm screwing up here. We're only on the pages, baby. This page is colorful and beautiful. And we have our knights. Queens. Gorgeous. Love the petals. I really like these kings. This guy reminds me of like a Robin Hood. Like his riches aren't like this guy's riches. This guy is like really lavish and has to have everything. But he's also grounded. Where this guy doesn't look so much kingy. He looks like king of his forest. But not in a very jaji way. I frigging love the aces in this deck. Did I say that yet? Okay. Okay. Love this two of cups right here, our baby. These are very beautiful. I like how close these are, though. He's kind of in a library. He almost looks like he's in a small library as well. I thought these would be so cool side by side, and they really are. I mean, it's so cool to see a, a witchy deck and a wizard deck, and there's boy witches in the everyday witch, which I really like because I'm not crazy about decks not having male and female. If it's all female or all male, it kind of bothers me because, and I think there should always be diversity, you know? because <clears throat> it's how the world is I just really I'm very happy with both of these I really am and I'm sorry if I talked most of my way through it look at the ace <clears throat> I always love this Three of Swords. This is the cutest Three of Swords I have ever seen. This one is just like Three Swords and paperwork. I'm not sure I'm crazy about this one. It's okay. This one is unbeatable. I mean, a box of chocolates with three athames in it or swords. Right? The Wizard's Tarot and the Everyday Witch Tarot. I just wanted you guys to see how cool they looked side by side. I was looking myself tonight and thought you guys would like would like to see it as well. Getting tongue tied. Time for bed. Okay, guys, <clears throat> that is it for my side by side. Thank you very very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.